Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Fall is here guys, and you know what that means? Fall makeup looks, fall everything. Orange lipsticks, brown lipsticks, golden eyes, brown eyes. It's the possibilities are endless. So I was really indecisive about what kind of makeup look I wanted to do for my second video. I decided on two specific kind of looks, but I decided to focus on a palette. So recently at the Macy's like friends and family sales or one of those big sales where it was like 15% off in cosmetics, I bought the new Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. I was so excited to buy this palette and I was like, you know what? I want to do a golden like honey makeup look. I just want my eyes to really pop and have some shine to them. So if you guys want to know how to use that palette and to create a makeup look like this, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to go in with the Origins Makeup Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. So this is going to help calm and cool that redness. So I'm just going to take like a little cotton pad and dab it on there. Then I'm going to put this all over the face. And again, it smells like mushrooms and it makes me hungry, but it smells so good to me. This is also nice just to help kind of clean up any dirt that might be sitting on the surface. Like that's still nasty, <laughs> kind of like, oh God, what's sitting on my face? All right, let's prime this sucker with the Laura Geller Spackle Supercharged Primer. This is gonna have that little shimmer in there. And you can see, well, I can't really feel the sparkles. That's the only thing, but we're just gonna put this all over the face because I am oily and I don't need my makeup to melt on me throughout the day or move. We are not done priming the skin just yet, so I'm gonna go in with the First Aid Beauty Kona Eye Stick. This is gonna help with the under eye area, dealing with puffiness and dark circles, just to help make it a little bit more awake, a little bit healthier looking, just because I have been sleeping well lately. You know, it's been stressful at work. And it's like a little twist up stick here, so this one you're just gonna massage under the eye. And then I also like to do it on the eyelid as well, because why not? It actually feels really nice. It's not gooey, it's not like too creamy, it's just a little massage stick. And then because it's the eye area, I'm gonna dab any excess with my ring finger, because that's my weakest finger. And we, anytime when we're using an eye product, we should be using our weakest finger because we don't want to pull and tug on the eye area. That'll cause more dark circles. That'll cause more fine lines in that area. This is just going to help keep it in check and prolong that. And I also put like Vaseline on my eyes earlier because my eyelids are dry. It's just like the changing of the seasons and allergies. So now my eyes like feel gross all the time. So I'm like putting gobs of Vaseline on there. I know that's a really attractive image, just gobs of Vaseline. But what are you gonna do? I'm dramatic and I just like to prep the skin ahead of time. So for my foundation today, I'm gonna be using Clinique's Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This is gonna be a full coverage foundation. This helps mattify the skin, so this is gonna keep the oils in check throughout the day. And it actually is designed to look like a concealer, so you would just brush it in the areas you would need to, then blend it out with a beauty blender or a sponge, whatever you prefer. And this one I'm using in the shade Alabaster because I am Casper the Friendly Ghost here. I am pale, There's I don't feel like tanning, so that's just my shade. Oh well, what can you do? So then I'm just gonna dab it in the areas I need to. So there, a little on my nose. And just because you can see what's going on with my forehead here, I'm just gonna add a little excess there and on my cheeks. Get that going. You really only need to use one use. If you do two uses, it's gonna be too much coverage. There's gonna be too much makeup caking on your face. And when you set that, then you're gonna have the issue of your powder and foundation sitting in your fine lines. So really you only need to go in with that one pump area. Like it's too much. So then I'm gonna smooth it out with that It Cosmetics Buff Brush because it's got that nice flat brush head there. So I'm just gonna blend everything out. I just want to make sure I get a nice even distribution of the foundation. I don't want areas of where foundation is settling in or where I just have no foundation. You just want a nice even coverage for that full look. So I'm just making sure we're all smoothed out. 
I like to be nice and smooth, mattified, full coverage. I'm just a full coverage kind of girl. So next I'm going to go in with that Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal Concealer. This is the one with the caffeine in it that's going to help energize my skin and brighten my skin in the areas where I need to. And just like that Beyond Perfecting Clinique foundation, I'm going to use a giant wand like this to help cover the areas where I need to. Concealer is amazing because it helps cover up all my issues. And I'm also going to put it on my chin just to help give a little definition in certain areas. I know, I look so attractive. This is just, but it's covering all my problem areas. So thank God for concealer. So next I'm gonna go in with that damp Morphe beauty sponge and I'm gonna blend this all out because we don't wanna leave those giant patches of concealer. That would not be attractive. That's not what I wanna do for that look today. I mean, a damp beauty sponge is really nice because sometimes with a brush, I will go in with the brush, but I feel like it can be streaky sometimes. So I like to go in with the beauty blender just to help really pat that into the skin. Like that's already made a huge difference on my eyes. You can see I look so much more alive, so much more awake. And I'm gonna go touch in that chin area. And then I'm using the fatter end to buff out on my forehead because that's the area that's gonna happen. The most issues, just because when I get stressed, I break out on my T-zone. Like, especially the forehead, that's just where it happens. So this is the power of foundation and concealer. Thank goodness for full coverage foundations and energizing concealers because my skin looks healthy. Now, if only my skin would look like this on a regular basis, but we can't have everything. So thankfully, makeup is there just to cover up where it needs to and enhance what we already have. But... I want to keep this look lasting all day, so I'm going to go and set it in with the Kat Von D Lock It and Brightening Powder. This is going to help not keep this from moving throughout the day. I don't want my foundation to move throughout the day. That would be really bad because then it would be melting all over the place. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of that powder into the cap because I don't want it getting all over the place. You can see what's happening here. Ooh, oh god, that was a whole chunk. I didn't mean to get a whole chunk. But you should have enough just to kind of get that all in there. And I'm just going to dab a little bit. Tap off some of the excess. Ooh! Ooh, that's coated. All right. I want too much. And then definitely set the T-zone first. We don't want that to move throughout the day. And on the chin. And then I'm going in my under eye area. I don't want that concealer to move throughout the day. And then we're going to set the rest of the face. We don't want any part of this to move today or any day. I just don't want my foundation to move. That would just be a problem. So we're just gonna put that all over the place. My face is set and I'm all good to go for the day. So next I'm gonna go in with that Clinique Curvy Contour Stick. So this is a cream contour. This is gonna just give a little definition to my face. Since I am more of a round face, I don't want it to look like I have a round face. So this is just gonna add a little definition in the hollow of my cheek on my forehead and under the jawline. Just cause I wanna look a little bit like, mm, she's got some sculpture. We got some cheekbones going on in there. And this is gonna help give my face a little bit more definition than just round. So you're just gonna draw where you need to. And I only do it in these three places. Even though this is a cream bronzer, I'm still gonna buff it out cause I don't want any harsh lines. And again, just like the foundation, you really only need one coat. Just because already that blended out, it's adding just a little bit of warmth to my face. I just want a little bit more definition and definitely you don't want to like rub too much. You start caking off your foundation, that would be a problem. But this is just going to help give my face a little bit more life. So my cream contour is all blended out. You can see it's just warming up my face. It's not giving me like that harsh structured contour look, which some days I'll do more of a contoured look like that. I'm not really feeling it today. I just wanna have a little bit more warmth to my face, not something that's in your face. So for blush, I'm gonna be using my Ofra Madison Miller palette and I got this in my Ipsy case, which 
thank God for Ipsy for updating their programming or whatever they were doing because I loved Ipsy before, but travel size products I kind of don't really like because I just... I want to get the full product, I want to feel the whole thing, and there's only so much travel stuff I can keep. So they updated their plan, I guess, so you can spend the normal amount to get the travel size products, you can spend more money to get like five full size products, and even more money to get like 10 full size products. So I updated my subscription to get the five full size products, and this came in that subscription. So in this Ofra palette, it's going to be two highlights and a blush. So I one's more of like a rosy highlight here and one's more of a champagne kind of highlight. But I'm going in with that blush today because this is a nice little peachy blush. It's not going to give too much color. So you can see I swatched that out for you. It's just a little natural peach going on in there. But since I'm having this palette out, I'm going to swatch that highlight for you. <gasps> Ooh. Oh god, can you see that? She is pigmented. That champagne one is so pretty. I'm just gonna go in with that gold one. Ooh, ooh, look at those sparkles. Can you see a difference? They look so wet. I have to use that for another look, but that's not what I'm gonna be using today. All right, so I'm gonna just dab in that middle one there and tap off that excess. And we're just gonna add some color to my face. Again, I'm not going to be making pretty faces while I apply my blush because who really makes pretty faces when we apply makeup? We all are doing like those weird mascara eye looks, those like lip looks. It's just putting on makeup is not pretty in the process, but when it's finished, it's gorgeous. So I'm just going to buff that out on my cheeks there. The blush looks a little intense right now, so I'm actually going to be doing something called veiling. It's actually a term I just learned recently. So what that means is I'm going to go back with that loose powder, and I'm going to put this on top of my blush and my contour. And this is just going to help diminish the appearance. So it helps buff it out a little, but it's going to help calm the color so it's not like in your face. So I'm going back in with that loose powder. This is just going to help subdue it so you can already see a difference where it's like just straight up blush and then this is calmed down a bit. All right, so the face overall is just about finished. She's looking good if I do say so myself. So next I'm going to go clean up my brows and I'm using that It Cosmetics Brow Cleaner. I just want to get that excess foundation off and this is just going to help brush them, keep them in place before I go in with my brow product. And for my brow product, I'm gonna be going in with the NARS Brow Perfector. So this is gonna be that little twist up pencil. And this one's in like a dark brown since I do have dark brows in general, this is gonna add a little bit more color to them. I'm just gonna go in and brush these in. So I'm just doing little strokes. I don't want like a huge dark brow going on, but I just want to clean them up a little. So I'm just bringing it to the end of my brow and I'll go back in with my brow keeper brush, but you can already see a difference and it looks terrifying right now. I'm not going to lie, but it's always different after you go in and brush it. That's why you have to be careful of how much product you use. I don't want to forget that inner brow area because sometimes that can look a little sparse if we don't maintain our brows. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that It Cosmetics Brow Keeper brush and I'm just gonna fluff that out. So that'll help distribute some of the brow product. So it's not like an overwhelming amount of, ooh, brows. Like, I love a good Lily Collins brow moment, but I don't need like two caterpillars sitting on my face right now. No, I said I was done with the face before, but I totally forgot about my highlight. <laughs> And we don't want to forget a highlight. So next, I'm going to go in with that Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Highlight. And this is going to be in the shade Heat Wave. So this is a nice little golden bronzer. Like, look at that. And it smells amazing. It kind of smells like sunscreen to me, which normally I don't like the scent of sunscreen. But for some reason, it smells nice in here. And I can't, I've already got the swatches from that Ofra palette in here. So I'm just going to do that on my other hand and... You can see that one is pigmented too. So that's a nice like golden. And because I'm going in with that Urban Decay Honey palette, I want to look like that honey bronzed look. 
So this is gonna really help bring out that shine. Because I'm using a honey palette, I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics Save the Bees brushes that had the little bees all over it. Like, I love these brushes. So I'm gonna dab into that highlight. I wanna tap off that excess because I love a bright highlight, but not too bright of a highlight. And I'm just gonna brush that out here. I mean, can you see that? Whew, it's bright, shine bright like a diamond, yeah! Get on the nose there as well. And on my cupid's bow. Don't wanna forget about the other side there. That would be horrible to have an uneven highlight. For a little bit more because why not? I'm feeling the moment. Mm. Look at that highlight mustache. I love it. And I'm going to do a little bit on the chin because I feel like it. Mm -hmm. So I promise I'm done with the face now. So now I'm going to go in and prime the eyelids with that Morphe eyelid primer. You just need a little bit, not too much again. So we're just going to put that all over the lid. And if you don't have an eyelid primer, again, you can use concealer. That'll help keep it in place throughout the day. You just want something to prep your eyes so the product doesn't move. How many times in this video are you going to hear me say, like, you don't want stuff to move. You don't want stuff to move. You really don't want makeup to move throughout the day. Like, we want to keep it still and perfect. Hi, Bo. Did you want to get your makeup done today? Did you want to get your makeup done? No, you're already handsome as is. Why do you have my cobwebs all over your face? Where have you been playing? Oh my goodness, Bo. Nope, oh, okay, no, nope. All right, my eyelids are all primed and the moment is here. Here it is. It's the Naked Urban Decay Honey Palette. And this is actually one of the only Urban Decay palettes I've really wanted. Like I've seen all of them. My sister has the smoky one. My best friend Kelly, she's got like all of them and I love three because it's all the pink and I love two because it was more of like the taupey colors but I never like felt the urge to buy them when I saw this at work I had to buy it I had to have it like because there were bees on it it was honey and the colors if you can just they're just beautiful I just love these golden colors. There are golden browns in the name of them. One of them is like, this one's called Queen. This one is Honey. And then this one's like HBIC. So head bitch in charge. Cause I guess they didn't want to get in trouble for saying that, but it is so beautiful. Now I've only used this palette once. So I haven't even like swatched it. I really want my eyes to be gold today. So I think I'm going to start with this hive shade right here this light medium brown and i'm actually going to use the brush that's in the palette so you'll get that dual ended brush and you can already see i've used it from the first time so i'm just gonna dip into that hive color Ooh. and i'm just gonna blend that out in my crease And I'm just bringing that down to my outer corner because I want this to be my corner shade even though it's in my crease. Okay, the crease is all blended out. So next I'm gonna go in, I'm either feeling this golden shade or actually, you know, I'm really feeling this honey. I'm gonna go in with that honey that's like the bright yellow in there. So I'm gonna go in with the other end of that brush. We're just gonna dab that. Can you see that? Can you see the sparkle that is in there, people? That is beautiful. That is beautiful, guys. Like, I have never been in love with a makeup palette as much as this one. And that's saying a lot. I've owned a lot of makeup palettes. And this is definitely like in my top, top five, like honestly. I am loving that honey shade. Look what it did for my eyes. That is exactly what I was looking for. So next then, I wanna go in with that queen shade. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in the center of my eye. And I'm actually gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna be using the Morphe 321 brush. So it's a nice little brush. So I'm just gonna dab some of that 
in the center of my eye so it's not like straight up brown and gold. This will give a little bit more definition to the eye look. All right, so I added some of that color in there, so now I'm just gonna blend it all over. And this is just a regular Morphe 505 brush, so I'm just gonna lightly dab this all over the eyelids because I don't want like color, color, color. I want it to show that it's blended a little bit more and it wasn't just like pat in here, pat in here, pat in there. And I'm just gonna go back in a little bit with that hive color, just to darken that corner a little. I'm going to go in with that hive again, and I'm doing that lower lash line. And this is something you can do instead of using a eyeliner for under the eye, just to make your eyes appear bigger. Just because I don't personally like putting the eyeliner there. If I'm going to do eyeliner, it's going to be a liquid on top of my lid, or it's going to be the pencil on the waterline. And I'm also going to take some of that honey shade again and put that on my water line down here as well. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the Morphe M173 and I'm going to take the shade Flyby, which is a nice little like matte cream shade, and I'm just going to buff out the top parts of the shadow. So it looks a little bit more smudged, not quite as pigmented all over the place. All right, guys, I'm feeling this eye look. It's definitely what I was going for with that melted golden honey look. So I'm going to curl my lashes now. So I'm just curling my lashes just to help push them up to lengthen them a bit more so they don't look so flat. Whew, that's never fun. All right, next I'm going to go in with that Lancome Booster XL Lash Primer. This is just going to help keep the mascara in place throughout the day. I don't want it to clump or move on me. Okay, and then for my mascara today, I'm going to go in with the Lancome Definisils one. So this is a nice little mascara. It's a thinner wand than that Snapscara Maybelline one. And this one's going to focus on more thin, longer lashes than like the big, fanner lash look. And I'm fine with either look, depending. I'm feeling more of that thinner lash look. So I'm just going to cake this all over my lashes, and we'll see how this turns out. I'm going to do a second coat of lashes later, but next I'm going to go in with a liquid eyeliner look. So I'm going in with Clinique's Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner. This is a nice little felt tip pen, so you can make it as thin or as thick as you need it to be in terms of eyeliner. And for this look, I'm just going to do like a thin line across my lash line. I don't want like a crazy cat eye or any like intense eyeliner. I just want a nice little like thin one because I really want the focus to be on my eyeshadow today. So I'm just following my lash line. And eyeliner, it takes time to master putting it on. I'm still learning how to put it on, to be honest, but you'll get it over time and then you can do as many like eye looks as you need with the eyeliner.
can see I've got a little bit of the liquid eyeliner on the top lash. And now for my bottom lashes, I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Nude Eyeliner for my waterline. So this is just going to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. You can do a black eyeliner on the waterline if you want more of a grungy look. I'm not going for a grunge look. I just want my eyes to look a little bit more awake. So what you do for this one is you would take your eyeliner right on the waterline and just add a little bit of color there. Again, it's a cream or a white eyeliner would be fine just to make them look more awake now that I've showed you guys my eyeball. Like, hello, hi, new space. Like, what are you gonna do? And because it's a cream, it might not pop up as much. So you, like everything else, you'll wanna go in with a second coat. And speaking of second coats, I'm going to go back in with that second coat of mascara because I'm this mascara is definitely dry. So it's time for number two. Okay, guys, so when I decided to do this Urban Decay Honey look, I didn't really get the lip gloss in time or any of the lip products. By the time I got to the Sephora counter, they had the palettes and they ran out of everything else. So I'm just going to do more of a fall look to complete this look, not quite like a nude honey look. So first for my base, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner Crayon in the shade Bow and Arrow. So it's another one of those twist ups. You, you can see I've used this one. I mean, I'm twisting that up, but this is a nice little nude base just to help prep the lips. So I'm just gonna line it there. God, what is wrong with me? I'm so indecisive for this video. So I'm loving the color of this lip liner because it's appearing more of a brown than a nude. I mean, that's my fault, like for picking the lip liner, but what are you gonna do? Director issues. So originally I was gonna go in with like a liquid orange color lip just to bring in some color because my sweater and like all and the look is so gold, but I'm really feeling the gold eye with the brown lip color. So I'm actually gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Starfish. So this is gonna keep those lips in place and it's gonna be that nice little brown color going there like ooh like this kind of reminds me of that like Kylie Jenner Urban Decay 1993 lip color that like 90s brown look so I'm gonna go in with this lip good lip today and I'm just gonna follow my lip liner since that set the base for everything else today Oh, look at that color. I'm loving that color. And before the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks, I've been kind of like hit or miss for me. I had the shade Veronica once that was really pretty. I wanted to try the shade Heathers, but I'm really liking this starfish color. Like it's just that perfect brown and it's just... It's totally giving me the fall vibes that I was going for. I really needed the fall vibes. All right, guys, now I'm going to set my face with that Kat Von D Lock It In Setting Spray. This will help it keep it long lasting all day. And then I'm tapping in everything with that damp beauty sponge. So this will help keep everything in place all day. Because I'm going for a fall look. I'm gonna grab an accessory and then I'll be right back. Anyone that knows me knows I love a good floppy hat moment. It just brings the whole fall ensemble together. But in terms of the makeup look, I am loving this eye makeup look. It's giving me the fall vibes. It was exactly what I was going for. I did change up on some areas like that lip color. Again, it wasn't what I had imagined, but I'm just really loving this combination. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you learned something. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye, guys.